Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Megan. And my name is Jessica. And we are two homeschooling mamas and also sisters. And today we're going to be talking about exploring creation with mathematics from Apologia Level 1. Okay, so let's get into this. So, back in December, we both started using Apologia math level one for our kindergartners. Mm -hmm. So we've been getting a lot of questions about what we're currently using and we wanted to wait until um, we were using it for a good amount of time in order yes. to give you guys our honest opinion and feedback. Okay, so we're gonna give you guys a little bit of a backstory before we get into it. Um, when I was looking for a new math for my kindergartner, I found Apologia, and when I find something, I like to go to YouTube and find reviews and flip throughs and everything, and there wasn't that much on this one, yeah. except from um, the author, Catherine Gomes. She, on the Apologia YouTube, she kind of goes over how this is set up. So this didn't seem like it was very popular, so we kind of bought it on a whim, seeing how we were gonna like it. I recommended it to you, mm -hmm. um, and we ended up getting level one, and then for my third grader, I got level three. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit now about how it's set up. Um, the author says that she does, we have notes, <laughs> we're looking down. Um, it's a concrete pictorial abstract approach. So the concrete is hands-on, the pictorial is obviously pictures, and then the abstract is with numerals and um, symbols. Every lesson has like an opening activity and some are games, some are um, little Just like activities. Little, little activities. So this one, they have to have a stamp in the tens frame. And my, our, our children love the hands-on mm -hmm. portion of this. So I feel like whenever they do an opening activity like this, it sparks their interest and they it makes math fun. So and that they like, they're, want to yeah, learn. They want to keep doing mm -hmm. math. And then here's like another example of an opening lesson. It's subtraction word problem matchup. And then so it tells you to get this page out of your teacher manual. Is it teacher manual? Mm -hmm. Teacher guide. And it will be in the back of the book. But also it provides you um, like a little login in the front of the book that you could go on the computer and print all of this out if you wanted to like keep this mm -hmm. for like another grade. If you have a kid that's going up to level one so you could save it or sell it or whatever. Okay, then after they do the concrete hands-on, it goes into pictorial. So it shows pictures to add, which um, gives a real, if you have a visual learner, that helps with the visual learners. And then it goes to abstract, where you're actually, actually using numerals and symbols to do the math problem. Okay, and here in a little bit, we're gonna turn you guys around and do a flip through, but it, in the teacher guide, it kind of shows, it gives you this calendar of how to do it, and it is uh, four days a week. Um, but on mm -hmm. each day, your child is gonna be doing a skills practice, and um, they'll tell you kind of like what to do, and then the um, website has some ideas. So what I do is I get a little folder, skills practice, and then it has all of her sheets. I print these off. It has all her sheets in here, and then when she's done, she puts it on this side. So this curriculum is more of a mastery, which my children like. Mm -hmm. We don't like the too. spiral approach. It kind of would like, they'd forget yeah. when it was a they spiral. They would lose it almost, and then you're almost reintroducing it every yeah. time that subject came up again. Mm -hmm. So this day, you're practicing your skills every day until you have that mastered, yes. which I really like. Okay, so when you purchase it online, you will be purchasing a teacher's guide, and this is for the parent, and it has all of the activities and worksheets in the back, mm -hmm. and then it gives you the answers. Yeah. So and then it's in the pretty front, thin, yeah. the schedule. And then this one is the student workbook, and this is where all the work is completed. Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the some of the manipulatives that you need. It does give you a list at the beginning of each chapter in here, but the ones that you use most often are linking cubes, especially at the beginning. Um, Uno cards, are so kind of ripped up. <laughs> or just regular cards. <laughs> yeah, too. or like a deck of cards. Yeah. Um, That's worked. Is me. it level one that does dominoes? I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I know. couldn't tell you. Um, that's another video, I guess. <laughs> and then base 10 blocks. And then also you could use 
some activities have you using like food, so like mm -hmm. goldfish, beans, or beans, counters. Um, we like to use a snack because it gives us a little bit more motivation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're food yeah. driven. They're, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I think all kids are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and some things that we love about this curriculum, our number one is that it has Christian connections. And we always love a curriculum that is Christ-centered. Um, now, you're not going to be getting it in every single lesson, but at the very beginning of each um, unit, there's like a unit introduction, and you read this. Uh -oh. You read this to your child, and it gives you Bible verses and how um, God is the creator of the universe, and he is the creator of math. Okay, I'll read you an excerpt from um, the teacher guide. It says, Christian Connections, we shouldn't study math to pass a test, excel in school, or advance in our careers. The true purpose and call behind mathematic, mathematics sorry, is to learn more about the God who created it. So, I mean, there's more, but we just love that. Yeah. We love <laughs> anything that has any biblical yeah. stuff in it at all. And it kind of made my son and daughter like, whoa, I yeah. didn't think about that. Yeah. And it's like, That's I didn't true. think about that. Yeah, God is the creator, yeah. so we love that. Um, our second thing is that it's very hands-on. So if you have children that like to play with their hands and like to do games and stuff, aesthetic, yeah. it's very, very hands-on. Mm -hmm. So, we Which is that. like the number one reason why I really chose it for my third grader is mm -hmm. because he is very kinesthetic. So I was like, he is going to love this. Yeah. And I was showing it to him. And then my kindergartner was like, oh, I like that yeah. too. So I was like, I'm going to do it. The one that my children loved was... Um, the play-doh where they had mm -hmm. to make balls of play-doh and then they'd smash yeah and that's like subtraction yeah so they were actually seeing it they were doing yeah. it and they love that mm -hmm. okay the next thing that we love is that it is fun there's no tears involved there's no crying they want to do it they're like asking can we get math out mm -hmm. and i love that like yeah. school's supposed to be fun learning mm -hmm. is supposed to be fun and this curriculum does that for us yes Okay, so the next thing that we love about this curriculum is that our children are actually retaining the information that they're learning. So we've experienced before with other curriculums where what we were teaching them was going in one ear and out the other. Yeah. And then we would go to do another lesson where it was expanding on a concept mm -hmm. and they we had to reteach the original concept right. all over again. Mm -hmm. I haven't experienced that at all with this no. And it, I love the way it builds to a concept. It yeah. like it gives it starts them slow and builds and builds and builds and it's like with the hands on it just works. And as they're going, they're retaining mm -hmm. what they're learning. Yeah. And we also wanted to let you guys know that they also have science curriculum that kind of goes along with this. Mm -hmm. So we personally don't use the science. I don't know, maybe in the future we would. But um we just wanted to let you guys know that that if you wanted everything to kind of Go together yeah yeah they have that for you so i think i think the science for level one is astronomy yeah so then you can see there's little like rockets and then it talks about it inside okay we also wanted to give you guys a little word of encouragement when searching for a curriculum mm -hmm. it's trial and error right. and searching for a curriculum to me is a blessing because mm -hmm. in school you don't have a say in what curriculum they're using and right. i feel blessed that i'm able to put something down if it's not working and just look for something else for my children mm -hmm. and what works for someone else's kids or one student might not work for the other right. and so just finding what works for your student and your family is what's most important yeah okay we're first gonna go through um, the teacher guide and answer key
Okay guys, so that is it for our um, Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 1 review. Um, let us know down below what you guys think, what you guys use, if you want to give this a try. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.